Good morning. Today is April 20th. This is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to read from Luther. Our verse for today is from Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Luther writes, Dear friend, if we can feed and rule ourselves, protect ourselves against error, gain grace and forgiveness of sins through our own merit, resist the devil and all misfortune, conquer sin and death, then we do not need a Christ either as a shepherd who would seek, gather, and direct us, bind up our wounds, watch over us, and strengthen us against the devil. Then he has also given his life for us in vain. For as long as we can do and gain all these things through our own powers and piety, we do not need the help of Christ at all. But here you hear the opposite, namely, that you lost sheep cannot find your way to the shepherd yourself, but can only roam around in the wilderness. If Christ, your shepherd, did not seek you and bring you back, you would simply have to fall prey to the wolf. But now he comes, seeks you, and finds you. He takes you into his flock, that is, into the Christian church, through the word and the sacrament. He gives his life for you, keeps you always on the right path so that you may not fall into error. You hear nothing about all your powers, good works, and merits. No, Christ alone is active here and manifests his power. He seeks, carries, and directs you. He earns life for you through his death. He alone is strong and keeps you from perishing, from being snatched out of his hand. For all of this, you can do nothing at all, but only lend your ears here, and with thanksgiving receive the inexpressible treasure, and learn to know well the voice of your shepherd. Follow him and avoid the voice of the stranger. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you that you seek us out. You, you bring us into your fold, and when we roam around lost and bewildered, you as our good shepherd always look for us and bring us in. Help us to continue to shepherd one another as we look for the lost and bring them into your fold. Continue to help us in this crazy time of pandemic. As more and more people get vaccinated, we give you thanks for uh, the safety and security that is beginning to happen. Um, but also we ask that you change the hearts and minds of those who um, don't feel the need to protect themselves. Um, we thank you for scientific discovery and, and medical breakthroughs that have helped us so far. And we pray that they continue not only for um, this dreaded disease, but for all people who are ill. Uh, we ask you continue uh, to bring healing and hope to those who are sick or hospitalized. Uh, help us to take care of one another. Continue to show us how we can be neighborly to each other, that we can uh, help the sick, the, the poor, the homeless, the lonely, uh, those who feel unloved. Help us to reach out to them with your uh, hands. Uh, help us to use our hands and feet to reach out to them with your love. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.